Hello and welcome to the next video. Multicolor 3D printing is awesome. Until you realize how much filament and time you need for that, in comparison to one color models, if you are using something like the Bamboo Lab AMS, Prusa MMU, or another multicolor system. Today I will show you how to reduce filament waste and shorten multicolor print times without sacrificing quality. Those are tips that actually work and you can apply them right now in your slicer and workflow. Let's start with the most obvious, the wipe towers. They are necessary to flush out old colors before the new filaments start extruding cleanly. But many slicers use overly conservative settings. In Bamboo Studio, for example, the default purge volume is often 70 cubic millimeters, which is overkill for similar filaments. If you are switching between two types of PLA with close colors, try reducing that to 35 or 40. Just do a quick test print and see if there is still any contamination. If the transition looks clean, you have just saved yourself 30% or more on every tool change. You can also reduce the actual size of the perch tower in the slicer settings. Lower its width and height, but be careful not to go too small, or it might lose adhesion or collapse. In many cases, you can also enable purge to infill or purge to object, which means the printer will purge old filament into the internal infill of the model instead of wasting it outside. This works best when the infill is hidden and when you are not too sensitive about slight color contamination inside the print. Another great way to save filament is to plan your color transition smartly. Changing from white to black requires much more purging than going from yellow to red or red to black. So if you can organize your colors in the slicer or in the model itself to go from light to dark, you will need far less filament to clean the nozzle between changes. If you are printing multicolor logos, text or layered graphics, try splitting the model into multiple pieces and printing them separately each in its own color, then glue them together afterwards. This completely avoids tool changes, first towers, and all the complexity of multicolor printing, while still giving you a great multicolor effect. Also, think about whether you even need a wipe tower for every print. If your model has a large infill area, you might get away with purging only into the infill and skipping the tower altogether. If a little color mixing isn't a big deal, for example in the early layers or for darker base tones, you can often just turn off the tower entirely. Now here's a lesser known trick. Printing two separate models sequentially in different colors. Let's say you want to print a red and blue keychain, one of each. Instead of printing them layer by layer with color changes, print one full part in red and then switch the filament and print the second one in the blue. This avoids purging between every layer and reduces the number of filament swaps drastically. Many slicers like Bamboo Studio or Prusa Slicer support this with print sequential objects or by object mode. Just make sure the nozzle won't crash into the already printed object when starting the next one. You can even take this one step further and use another prototype or throwaway model as your purge object. Instead of a useless wipe tower, purge into a draft print you are already planning to throw away, like a calibration cube or a test print for another project. That way the filament is still used and the purge material becomes part of something useful. Filament choice also matters. Some matte filaments and heavily pigmented ones require more purging because they leave residue longer. Cheaper filaments with inconsistent pigment can mix unpredictably and force longer tower transitions. With some models it's also beneficial to switch to draft mode. Less layers means less color shifts. Consider 0.24 mm or even 0.28 layer instead of 0.2, 
depends on the print, sometimes it won't have a big visual impact, but it will speed up overall print time and reduce waste. Even the purge material itself you can keep and use for melting in a mold to get something out of it. There are many creative ways to use it. You can also try simplifying your model. Instead of using 5 colors, see if you can get the same look with 3 or 4. Or try patterns and gradients using one filament and clever layer heights. Remember, every extra color you add means more swaps, more purging and more wasted filament. Last, the most obvious but often forgotten thing. Check the best model orientation in the slicer. You can often make a drastic difference and reduce printing time by half or more. It's worth experimenting with. So, to sum it up, reduce tower size, optimize purge volumes, plan color order, consider printing parts separately, purge into infill or prototypes, dry your filament, choose materials wisely and avoid unnecessary swaps by picking the right model orientation. Mm -hmm. If you use even just a few of those tips, you will save a lot of filament and hours of print time, and your prints will still look just as good. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more 3D printing tips. Got a trick on your own to reduce multicolor waste? Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.